Hey my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. So finally Elementor has released the Loop Builder and somehow also released the Flexbox container but all these are still in beta version or beta, depends on where you come from. And to use the Loop Builder, somehow it requires you to use the Flexbox containers. And in this video I want to take you through what my thoughts are about this. Let's get started. So from the very first time I came across Elementor, the page builder, the only things that we would actually be able to create were the sections and also a possibility to use the responsive mode. And these were only three devices, the desktop, tablet, and mobile. And then later on, Elementor rolled out a theme builder, which would now enable us to create the headers and then the footers, the blog archives, and all that stuff. But for some reason, I felt like Elementor should have given us the headers and the footers in the core because it's a page builder and to be able to build a page on the internet you should have a header you should have a footer but somehow that is only available in the pro version where they have the theme builder and it enables us to create all these features but what is a theme builder that doesn't allow you to create your own custom listings or custom loops because as it has been before elementor would only give you three card styles if i haven't forgotten and you have to play only around this to be able to get a custom layout for your archives or listings. And if you wanted anything custom, then you had to get something extra or an add-on to actually supplement your theme builder in Elementor. That was also a bit of a headache, but somehow now we are seeing some light in the tunnel because Elementor is now giving us more power by one, releasing the loop builder and also the Flexbox containers. And I've actually created videos about the Flexbox container and also the loop builder. And if you want to check them out, I'll be leaving some links in the description of this video. But just to give you a hint on what you are able to build using the new loop builder, first of all, you have to enable it in the experiments by coming over here to Elementor, settings, then experiments, then come down below here, make sure that you activate your loop. And also don't forget that this requires you to have the Flexbox containers working on your site. So, after activating that, come back over here and also activate the Flexbox containers. That's one. So the other bit is how do you get started using the loop builder and what are you able to actually build? I could create a custom listing using this loop builder from Elementor and you know you can create this kind of custom loops and even in this video that I have about the Elementor loop builder, I showed you another style of listings that you can actually create. And also I have to tell you that all this data over here is coming from custom fields using SCF. Just like you can see over here, we have all these fields over here, the promo value, the logo, the description of the product, the discount or the percentage discount, the regular price, the discounted price. And once that information is entered in the relevant post type, then it shows up over right here. And to create this kind of loop grid, you have to actually build the single loop or that loop that will actually be used to showcase your listings. And to do that, you come simply to the theme builder in Elementor and then go straight to the loop item and then you'll be able to create a new loop item. Now, let me show you how my loop item looks like at the moment. And here is my loop item, which is actually referencing to the SEO fields that I created from the logo to the title to the content or the description and then all these other widgets that are linking to the specific SEO fields. This gets me really excited because now this saves me one extra plugin that I would simply install to create a loop using Elementor. But it should have come out earlier because we have been asking for the loop builder. It has been nowhere but I am happy it is finally here. So that is my general feeling about this release that the Flexbox container is now stable and we can use it on our production website, but also the loop builder is out. The other thing I want to mention is that with the Elementor theme builder as a web creator, I would expect certain things to be actually doable. Like for example, some widgets are not completely customizable and this gives me so much pain. Take an example of the product meta widget. Uh, when you look over here on the preview, you realize that it has a white top border over there. And if you come over here in the editor, select the product meta widget and come to the styling options, there is no option to remove that white border. There is completely no option. It would actually have to take you to the advanced settings and add a custom CSS so that you can remove that white top border. And if you thought that white border is a divider, actually it's not the divider, the divider is the middle one over right there. 
And that is just one of the small things that just drive me nuts. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Those were my two cents about the new elemental loop builder and also the possibility that now we can use flex boxes. In case you want to check out complete tutorials about the loop builder and also the flex post container, then check out the description of this video. I'll be leaving links to those relevant videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good time and goodbye.